Now we're on C4. C4 is a modified block, which means we're gonna use the diagram in the pamphlet included with the kit, which is here. And it's been changed, the center's been changed a bit. So I have a nine patch square in the center, then triangles around the outside, and then this three piece corner going on. So uh, assembly is gonna be just that. We got the nine patch, and then we're gonna add the triangles and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add these, then these, or if I'm gonna make these into a corner and then add it. But we'll see how that goes once we get there. So I've got my pieces laid out ready for basting. So I'm gonna base these, I'm gonna base these opposite sides and then opposite sides, and I'm gonna do these opposite that. So for example, if I do the top and bottom first before the sides, I'm going to then do the sides first on the black and then the top and bottom. That way it uh, changes up where the, the secondary fold is. It's best to not have the secondary on top of secondary. If you can avoid it, it makes it a little bit of a tighter seam. So then for these, I'm going to base two of these with hypotenuse first, then the legs, and then the other, then there's going to be the opposing two, and then the legs and the hypotenuse. Basting for these, we'll see what happens when we get to them. But first, we're going to baste and create this center, uh, center square, row by row. So I've got all three of the rows formed, and the next thing to do would be to put them together for the square. So I've got all three rows stitched together into my nine patch. Next thing is to attach the four side triangles and I'm going to baste these two one way either legs first and then hypotenuse and then this is going to be the opposite way so it would be the hypotenuse then the legs for example so I'm going to get those attached I'm going to get those basted and then attach them so I basted all four side triangles and I've attached these two so now I'm going to go ahead and attach the other two and you can see how the tags will nest into each other, which is why I based them opposite. So I finished attaching all four of the triangles, so this is what you should have at that point. Now, the next question is, do I then attach the green pieces, which is my inclination, and I would do it the same way, I'd attach opposites and then opposites, however, <clears throat> I think I'm going to have a better luck in fitting these properly if I do these three in a piece and then attach it to here. Normally I would just go ahead and attach these green pieces, but because of the way that these are shaped, I'm going to go ahead and put all three of these together first. That way I can better control the way this fits rather than having to deal with it in the whole block assembly. So let me get one of these corners basted and assembled, we can go from there. So I got with this corner basted. What I did is I basted this long side last on this one and this long side first on this one so that I've got nesting tags in this corner. This, these pieces here, you can see it better on this, it's so thin that when you Go to baste it. Make sure you stabilize this with something while you, so you can push and get a nice sharp edge. It's real easy to make this bigger than it should be. So the other thing is, is that if you can't quite get it small enough, because you can see a bubble here, um, you can feel it as you go with the with the paper. Or you can feel the paper as you go down the seam, I should say. But I'm going to go ahead and assemble these three pieces. Then I can put it onto here. But let's get this corner done. So I've assembled this corner. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my center portion now so I don't mix them up. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but that way I can have my tags this way. Then I'm going to go over here and do the same thing with the same tag. I'm going to do the hypotenuse first, then the legs so that it matches, and then we can nest with these other corners. But first I'm going to attach this corner. So I've got this corner attached, and I've already assembled this corner, so I'm going to go ahead and attach this one before going to the next one. 
So I got my second corner attached and I basted my third and I've done it opposite of this. So I've done the hypotenuse first here. This I did it last so my tags in this corner can nest nicely. And these are opposite as well so they nest as well like the other ones. So um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this corner and then I can get it attached to my main. So I've got the third corner attached. So this is what it should look like right now. Now I'm going to assemble and attach this final corner. So I've got the fourth corner connected and now I have completed my C4 block. 